Hi folks, today I'm replacing the front brake pads on this 2007 Opel. <coughs> the wheel bolt sizes are 17mm. Now here I'm taking the cover and the cap of the brake fluid reservoir so that when I push the pistons back in the caliper the brake fluid can rise up. Now obviously I would be replacing the brake pads on both front wheels but I only have time to do the video of one side. Putting a screwdriver between the old pads and the disc so that I can push the piston back enough for the caliper to clear the wear lip on the actual brake disc. Those little plastic caps just pop off and I'm using a 7mm Allen key tool to take the bolts out. Here I'm just popping off the spring clip. Well, hey, I didn't lose it. Sometimes these things fly into the most impossible places. Wiggling off the caliper. tapping out the old brake pads. These discs will need replacing at a later stage. There's probably one more set of pads worth left in these. Now you can see how far down these pads are worn. There's only a couple of millimeters of life left on them. Here I'm pushing the piston back in the caliper to make room for the new brake pads to go in. Now there it was obviously blowing out the old brake disc, uh, brake dust. You know, it's a good idea to wear a mask for this even though there's no asbestos in pads anymore. I'm sure whatever they have in them now can't be much good for you either. Now you can also see the difference in material there between the old pad I just picked up and the new one. Now this is the way the new ones will go in. This is this is copper grease. I usually put this on all the metal contact surfaces of the brake pads and the caliper. It um, at the at the very least it stops the new pads from squealing, and it also allows them to float a little bit rather than jamming up. 
Now this pad has a sticker on the back. It's an idiot sticker, I think. Don't need that. By the way, this car has an axle stand underneath. I know it doesn't look like it. It looks like it just has the jack under it, but there's an axle stand under the leg. Brake pad with the prongs goes into the caliper first. The other pad goes into the caliper bracket. And now I'm just lowering the caliper down over the bracket. Also putting copper grease on the pins so that the caliper can float. the little caps back on. <sighs> now for the spring clip, just take one end at a time and you'll usually need a pliers just to pull the second end over. Make sure that the clip is in behind the, the little step in the caliper. You can see it better on the bottom part here. Just make sure that clip is tucked in there. Now you can see that the brake fluid has risen up in the reservoir, so we have plenty of fluid there. I'll just wrap this up now. And the last thing to do after this is to pump the brake pedal. Give it a few pumps before you drive off just to firm it up. And that's it. Thanks very much for watching.